that have you heard about another amazing thing about NAC? There goes my eyebrows again. There goes your eyebrows. Mm-hmm. N-acetylcysteine in the treatment of noise-induced hearing loss. And you know, it, it's amazing. This is done all over the world by doctors, but I, I, sometimes I like to see more of these done in our, in our territory here too, okay? And this is the audiology department, University of Ferrara, Ferrara, Italy, done by medical doctors, okay? And uh, this is the study of, uh, uh, and it tells it that it was an animal study, but they said the results of this animal study point to the potentially important role NAC can play in protecting against noise-induced hearing loss. They induced hearing loss and then did placebo versus NAC, and the NAC had a dramatic effect at restoring hearing loss. Now, I never knew that, did you? I never knew that either, and I've never driven a Ferrari in Ferrara. Never driven a Ferrari in Ferrara? Never, the, uh, it's well, you caught Ferrari, me there, there. Italy, okay? A Ferrari is a very, very prominent Italian sports car. They're very loud as well. So maybe the, maybe those is. test drivers <laughs> used NAC when they were... Right, and they anyway. said... For, and Getting on with this stuff. Okay, 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 okay. And uh, after the noise exposure had a, had a protective effect used before and a significant mm-hmm. restorative effect used afterwards. So I think that let's start using it in people. That sounds like a pretty exciting thing. And, and speaking of NAC, I know that you, there was an amazing information. A doctor is uh, in the European Heart Journal, 2008, NAC, and acetylcysteine for the prevention of postoperative atrial fibrillation. That's a heart the heart mm-hmm. irreg- irregularities, a prospective randomized placebo-controlled pilot study. Wow, wow. And this doctor is uh, Memodoc Sadden, MD, interviewing um, uh, this other physician. And he says, what got you interested in studying the role of MAC, NAC and atrial fib in those undergoing bypass surgery? I'm just going to do a few s- bits of it. He says, postoperative l- I mean, after-operation atrial fibrillation is associated with oxidative stress. Although it is used as a mucolytic agent, NAC shows antioxidant properties. I got interested in studying NAC in atrial fib and thus undergoing coronary artery bypass graft surgery. I'm just going to cut to the chase here. They speculated that that this could be used as an antioxidant in this condition. Can you tell us about your study?